Isla Murata, Johnny boy. Let's do it. You ready to go? Let's do it. I'm gonna go find some bugs. Let's find some bugs. Let's find some bugs. Yeah, we're gonna go find some bugs. We are gonna go find some bugs. Let's go check this out. So we're in Isla Morada. It is middle of March. This is the Chamber of Commerce Visitor Center uh, here in Isla Morada, Florida, in Florida Keys. And we're gonna go check out this park. This park's actually got some great natural areas. And we're gonna go check this place out and see what bugs we can find. Let's take a look. So we're gonna go out and check the parking lot to see if there's any Strymon Martialis. Because there's a big strip of base cedar here, and uh, it's usually a good place to find Strymon martialis. So let's see what we can find. The the larvae of the hair streak, that, where the butterfly lays eggs on the little yellow flowers of the base cedar. This grows only in the little sand dunes on the near the beach. Uh, these were planted here. But, um, but the, the eggs get laid on the flowers and then the caterpillars burrow into the, these, these developing flower buds. And um, they're, they're completely, completely burrowed into the middle of these uh, stems of these flower buds uh, so they stay hidden from predators and so. Usually the uh, Marshall scrub hair streak, they stay pretty tight to their base cedar host plant. And usually if you knock it around a little bit, you'll see the little hair streak butterfly fly out. But I have not seen one yet today. Let's see. Come on, hair streak. Where are you at? Now here's a buttonwood tree that looks like it's got some larval damage. See all the strips here? If we look here close enough, I guarantee you we're gonna find a big fat caterpillar. Let's see. Where's he at? It's all chewed up here. It's all chewed up. Oh, where are you at? Oh, here he is. Look, 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 look. You fatty. <laughs> that is cool. That is an Elosphinx. Elosphinx larva. That's a nice, big, fat caterpillar. Cool. Oh, I got it. You got an idea, huh? John's got an idea. Watch out, everybody. Let's see. Are there any more? It sure looks like this has been this has been tore up pretty good. Come on, Theo. See him? No touch him? This is awesome. Getting video of John Dwyer photographing a caterpillar. <laughs> I've been converted. I have a convert. <laughs> Let's see. I'll bet there's more. That's a lot of damage for one caterpillar. Yeah, so, oh, we got, we got one here. He's almost full grown. Oh, look, there's another one. Here's another one. And let's see. Oh, number three. There's number three. And that is how plants get defoliated. You get a you get three or four of these bad boys on a plant, there ain't gonna be any leaves left very soon. <laughs> cool. Well, they stay pretty still when they know they're being looked at, huh? Hello, Sphinx. Hello. Oh, look, there's a little tiny one. And when they're little, they've got this uh, big spike on the back end. See them? Yep. 
They got the big old spike, mimics the thorn on the back end here. Oh, oh no, he's, he's, booking. he's booking. Yeah, he's like, I want my privacy. You wonder why they like just that bush. Yeah, and the best way when you're looking for caterpillars, man, when you see a stem like this, and it's got all the leaves chewed off of a of a stem like this, yeah, you know that's you know somebody's been munging for sure. And usually, by the time most of the time, by the time people see their plants defoliated, the caterpillars have already done the damage and then they're about to pupate and that's when they get sprayed <laughs> when the when the damage is already already done yes so this this here we've got a, a spider web down here that's capturing all the frass and it, you know there must be a caterpillar and there he is. is that the same kind same kind and they have in the earlier instars they've got this little fake eye on their thorax and they flash it when they're disturbed to try to scare you. Cool. I'm so scared. I need one of those. I'm so scared. No, I'm not. Don't eat me. Don't eat, don't eat me. me. I'm not going to eat you, man. Well, I might. I'm getting hungry. You're getting hungry? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice this ficus tree here that's got all this larval damage and usually when a ficus tree's got larval damage, that means it's a ficus sphinx. But let's see what we can find. And here he is. But that is not a ficus sphinx. That is an Elo sphinx larva. And that's a big one. And notice how we found those other ones and they were really green. But this guy here has a different color form of more of a brownish color and it mimics or it camouflages really nicely with the underside of this ficus leaf so it's neat how they change color based on the environment that they're at that's a big one that's that's fully grown he'll be uh he'll be pupating here in the next day or two and speaking of ficus jim look at that ficus tree right there completely defoliated by uh edward's eye limeyer edward's eye larvae Thousands and thousands and thousands of them defoliated that big old strangler fig tree. That's some serious, <laughs> some serious moth activity there, man. <laughs> wow. And that's like the third one that size. Yeah. It's like that. Yep. There's another one back there. Absolutely. So here we have a little, I guess this is a strangler fig. And these Edward's eye larvae are just tearing this thing up. Incredible. I've never seen quite an infestation of Edward's eye like this. I'm flying! I love the breeze! <laughs> this little caterpillar. Whoa. Beautiful moth. Olympius tenums.
go any further back. Ah, it's got thorns. Can we go around the other side? Ouch. There's this little patch of this, these flowers. I have to look up and see what they are. It almost looks like some kind of a, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but the, we just saw a beautiful tantalus um, sphinx moth, day flying sphinx moth. Kind of flies like a hummingbird, zipping around and enjoying this flower. What a cool thing to see. That's, that's a beautiful little moth and it's really specific to uh, the, the tropics and the Florida Keys. And so that's a neat, neat bug to see every once in a while down here. We get to see them out in the hammocks and in the pine pine flats and the lower keys. But uh, he was happily sipping here on these flowers and John and I were took some good video and now he's moved on. It's like a shrimp plant. Yep. Like some kind of shrimp plant. But this shrimp plant it's got some nasty thorns on it. I, got to, I have to find out what this plant is. Because if the, if the sphinx moths like it, then it's a good plant. <laughs> yeah, we were hoping to find, look on this base cedar and find some Marshall scrub hair streaks but I have not seen a single hair streak. We did see that tantalus, which was really cool. Bay cedar, Suriana maritima is the host plant for the Marshall scrub hair streak. And I just have not seen one, so. John, have you seen Strymon martial? No, I haven't. You haven't? <laughs> nope. <laughs> You gotta speak in English, not Latin. Not Latin? Latin? Yeah, no. Well, there's ants nectaring. That's not what you have for. What a beautiful setting to go look for bugs, huh? Beautiful. There's my boat. Your boat? I was wondering where somebody parked it. Oh. When are we going fishing, John? Now. Now? All right. Now. You don't look like you're dressed to go fishing. Beautiful, man. Love the Florida Keys, Johnny boy. Yes. We love the Florida Keys, man. Well, this is something that I'm so stunned to see. This is a huge strangler fig tree. And I mentioned earlier that that little strangler fig tree had an infestation of Edward's eye, but I had no idea that this massive, massive tree. Go, John, go stand in front of that tree for scale. So this tree, has been completely defoliated by Limeyer Edwards eye larvae. I mean, there's probably 90, 95% defoliation on this tree. And you can see, you can see here, there's a few leaves, but this thing has been shredded. Now that is, that is some reproduction right there, brother. Thousands and thousands of caterpillars that it would take to, uh, to defoliate a tree this size. Amazing. That is the wonder of the insect world right there. <laughs> wow. I've never seen anything like that It actually before. just looks out of season. Yeah, it looks like it's fall and all the leaves fell off, but guess what? <laughs> that doesn't happen to ficus trees. They, they have green leaves all year long, and uh, except when the Edwards wasp moth larvae are out. <laughs> Incredible. Well, we had a good time in that little park in Isla Mirada and we found some we found a whole bunch of bugs, not the bugs we were looking for. We were hoping to find some Marshall scrub hair streaks, uh, but we did find some Ello Sphinx caterpillars. We saw that really cool tantalus. We saw some uh, Edwards wasp moth caterpillar damage where they're totally defoliating those big ficus trees. Um, Johnny, what are your final thoughts? My final thoughts are I still don't know Latin. You don't know Latin? No, Come but on. I am capable of finding caterpillars. You can find caterpillars, and you're not a bad photographer either. No, that's true. You know, 
I, I'm, I'm impressed. I am good if I can say so. Yeah. Well, good. my job, my goal is to teach John some Latin names by the by the end of our time together today. Oh, wow. So we're, we're going to work on that for our next episode. No pressure. Stay tuned. No pressure. You too can learn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is David Fine with Keys Moths. We're taking off. Uh, join us next time for some more moth hunting adventure. Um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you visit the website. It's www.keysmoths.com. Uh, we would love to hear from you. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. And give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, share us with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to do so. We'd love to talk to you. So until next time, enjoy South Florida. Ciao. Eyes on the road. Eyes, okay, eyes on the road. Yeah, good. <laughs>